Hello everyone, welcome to the another video tutorial. So in this video lecture we will discuss about another type of chromatography named as paper chromatography. So let's start with the introductive part. So before moving to the paper chromatography, let's understand some basic facts. What is the chromatography? So basically chromatography is an important biophysical technique and it is the most important technique used for the separation, identification and isolation of the mixture. Here this method is very useful for the qualitative and quantitative analysis. So basically the chromatography method enables the separation and identification as well as purification of the components from any simple mixture. So, in this method, a sample mixture is used and with the help of this sample mixture, a particular desired component can be separated by different types of chromatography methods. Now, let's understand that the word chromatography is made up of two words, which are Greek words named as chroma and graphene. So, here the word chroma is indicated for the color and the word graphene means to write. So, at first, the Russian botanist named as Michael Svet coined the term chromatography in 1906. So he used the term because he used this method to separate the plant pigments which are used for colorization. That's why it is named as chromatography. Later on, the first analytical use of the chromatography was described by two scientists named as James and Martin in 1952 and they use a particular type of chromatography named as gas chromatography. So basically the chromatography methods are of different types. So there are several types like gas chromatography, column chromatography, affinity chromatography, adsorption chromatography, thin layer chromatography, ion exchange chromatography and many more. So in this video lecture we will discuss about a particular type of chromatography which is named as paper chromatography. So let's start with some introductive part and some basic facts about the paper chromatography. So the paper chromatography is a particular type of adsorption chromatography method and it is a type of planar chromatography technique. So the paper chromatography is one of the most simplest type of the chromatographic methods of all the chromatography methods and it is also most widely used for the separation of different tech components. Now this technique is uses paper seeds or some strips or cellulose papers as the stationary phase and that's why it is called as paper chromatography. So let's understand that the all chromatographic methods have the same principle they all use two phases named as a stationary phase and mobile phase and in the case of paper chromatography this can technique use the paper seeds as the stationary phase and that's why it is named as the paper chromatography now the method of the paper chromatography was first discovered by Christian Frederick Scobian in the year 1865 and it is the most widely technique it is done by all the students in their school and college life. The paper chromatography method is most easy simplest way for the chromatography of different types of components. So before moving to the procedure of the paper chromatography, let's understand about what is the principle on which the paper chromatography method works. So basically all the chromatography methods work in the same principle. All the methods have two phases which are consist of a stationary phase which is stationary and cannot move and the another phase is called as mobile phase and as the name indicates it have the ability of movement. So we know that the sample mixture which have different components move along with the mobile phase through the stationary phase and it separates on the basis of their affinity. So we know that the sample mixture include different types of components in this sample and all the different components have differences in their affinity and according to this they move 
faster or slower in the stationary phase and that's why they get separated. So in the case of paper chromatography, the stationary phase includes the paper which is a cellulose sheet or also named as filter paper or any type of paper and the mobile phase is a solvent which can be different types of solvents. So here the, as we have discussed that the paper chromatography is also a type of adsorption chromatography and this chromatography is between solid and liquid phases and this, where the solid phase of the paper is the stationary phase. So now the paper chromatography method is of two types which are named as paper adsorption chromatography and the one another when each paper partition chromatography. So basically the when the principle of the paper chromatography includes the method of adsorption it is considered as paper adsorption chromatography and when it includes partition of different separated molecules it is named as paper partition chromatography. Now in the case of paper adsorption chromatography the paper is impregnated with the silica or alumina and this silica or alumina act as an absorbent or the stationary phase and that's why it is called as adsorption chromatography. Now in the case of partition chromatography, the water or any type of moisture is present in the pores of the cellulose fibers or the paper which is used as the stationary phase and the mobile phase is used as any type of solvent. Now from all the types of paper chromatography methods, most of the methods are referred to the paper partition chromatography where moistured paper is used for the separation. So now let's understand about the procedure or the working mechanism of the paper chromatography method. So before moving to the steps of this method, let's understand and learn about the major equipments used for the paper chromatography. So the first instrument or the equipment used is chromatography paper which can be any type of filter paper and the most commonly used is the Wattman filter papers of different grades like number 1, number 2 and many other grades. These chromatography papers should be a larger portion of cellulose and have porins in their structure. Now the another instrument used is the mobile phase. Here the chromatography paper is used as the stationary phase and the mobile phase is include different types of solutions or different of mixture of solutions used for the mobile phase. A common example for the mobile phase is methanol and water mixed in the proportion of 4 ratio 1 and this solution is used as a mobile phase in the paper chromatography method. The third equipment or the instrument used as the developing chamber. So the developing chamber can be made by different materials like by a beaker, glass or any type of stainless steel or plastic. So these are the developing chambers used for the support for this stationary paper or the stationary phase. Now the fourth instrument used for the detecting agents. So these detecting or the recording agents are used for the detection or the identification of the components found by the which are separated by this method. Now let's discuss about the steps of the method for paper chromatography. So the steps include to select a development site and it is decided on the based of the complexity of the solvent or the paper used as a stationary phase and also on the complexity of the sample mixture. Now the second step include to selection for a suitable filter paper which is used as a stationary phase in the process of paper chromatography and it can be Wattman's filter paper or any type of filter paper which is selected on the base of the size of the pores present in the filter paper and also on the sample quality. Now the third step includes preparing sample. So the sample preparation is include the solution of the sample in the suitable solvent. The fourth step includes spotting 
where the samples are spotted in the proper position on the paper or on the stationary phase and this step is followed by the chromatogram development and it is spotted by immersing the paper or the stationary phase in the mobile phase which is the solvent of different types of solutions or mixture of solutions. So basically in that condition due to the capillary movement of the paper of the mobile phase move over the sample on the paper and the final step including drying the stationary phase or drying the filter paper and then select the desired component or the compound from all the components of the mixture and then it is detected by different types of detecting agents. So now let's understand the whole procedure by the help of this diagram. So here we can see this is the paper sheet or the filter paper used as the stationary phase and here this is the solvent tank and it is plugged with the help of a cotton thread and it also used some clips to plug or to attach the stationary phase in the ascending order. Now. This is filled by a solvent which is used as the mobile phase and a sample mixture is spotted in this stationary phase. So here what happens, due to the capillary action, this solvent or the mobile phase moves upwards in this stationary phase and it also moves the components of this spotting line or the sample mixture in the ascending order. And due to the differences on to the different components or their affinity, they are separated. And after that, this is dried and then detected by different types of detecting agents. So there are different types of paper chromatography like ascending paper chromatography, descending paper chromatography and many others. So this diagrammatic presentation is presenting the method of ascending paper chromatography. So now let's discuss about the applications of the paper chromatography. So as we have discussed earlier that it is the most simpler method among all the chromatography methods. So this method is widely used to study the process of ripening and fermentation in all the college and school practicals due to its simpler method. And it is also used to detect the cosmetics to detect different types of component present in different cosmetics and also used for detection of dopes in animals and humans. Now the method is also used widely in different biochemical laboratories to analyze the different reaction mixtures in the biochemical labs and also used for the detection of adulterants and also used in the study of different types of practicals in colleges and schools. So basically there are different advantages of this paper chromatography method. The advantage include it is most simpler and rapid method and it requires very less quantity of material. It is not costly, not very expensive and it is excellent resolving power. So that's why it is used in practicals. and. Besides this, there are several limitations also like it cannot be performed in large quantity of sample or it is less accurate as compared to different other methods of chromatography like PLC, HPLC and many others. So in this video lecture, we have discussed about the paper chromatography, its procedure and its applications. Thank you.